Hey guys, Kylie and Steve here with Top Guns in Terre Haute, Indiana. Steve, what are we gonna be taking a look at today? Hey guys, Kylie and Steve here with Top Guns in Terre Haute, Indiana. Steve, today, what are we gonna be taking a look at? We have Kylie's broom. So we're going to uh, see how we can put it to use and how effective it is on the range. This is from a company called Ammo Up. We're gonna take a quick look at it and see what products they have and how they work. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I laughed at that, that was funny. First thing we need to make this thing work is some ammo. So I have some ammo inside. This is another method to pick up brass when you're out on the range. It works on lots of different surfaces. We are gonna be using it on concrete. It also works on grass, shorter grass, you know, not real tall grass, but works in grass, uh, can work on solid dirt. Obviously you don't wanna use it in mud. That rock. Although it'd be fun to try in mud. Mm -hmm. I, I doubt now. it's going to work in rock because pick it's going to pick up the rocks, up the rocks right. Uh, this, the units that we have today are, are designed to pick up anything larger than a 22 caliber. So we won't be picking up 22 today, but we are going to see how this thing works in picking up ammunition, see how efficient they are. We have uh, three different products with us that we're going to be reviewing today. The first one is their basically their uh, midline, it's not their professional series but it, is, uh, it was the standard for quite some time. They just recently released their Pro Series, and I personally happen to like this one a lot, so we're gonna start off with this one. We're, we'll work our way into the Pro Series. Got it. You want, you want to demo it? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. All right, so a few things that we've learned about these, uh, they work really well, but it's important that you understand how to work them and how to keep them working as efficiently as possible. It works most efficiently when I raise the front wheel. So I know it's designed to be used either way. For us, it, tend, it tended to work a little bit better when we raised the front wheels, which takes, uh, it ends up bringing up their little guards that pull in. But as you can see, if you just take it at a normal pace and continue moving forward, it works really, really well. We'll see how you empty this after we pick up a few. All right, Steve, so we had the opportunity to try out all three of these products that were sent to us. Tell me what you feel about them. All in all, I, I, I have a lot of positive to say about them. There's a couple of things that were, became a learning curve for us, but once we learned how to do it and use them properly, mm -hmm. uh, they were very efficient, and so I liked them for that reason. The, the thing that I like about them is that they are able to cover a large space in a small amount of time to pick up brass. It doesn't pick up, especially for those of us who are using them on an indoor range, it's not picking up all the paper and the, uh, the fragments of, of, of targets and stuff. Mm -hmm. Those stay on the ground. So it makes it easy for us. So we're not doing 9,000 swipes with uh, picking up brass first and then trying to sort the brass from the paper. Right. It allows us to help sort that uh, by going through and just picking up the brass. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I like about it is I think that if you were to use it perhaps in the grass, I could see a benefit to that as well because now in an area where you can't sweep up brass, these things are able to reach down between the blades of grass and pick them up right. for you. Um, the thing, the, the learning curve that we had that we both found out quickly, one, you cannot go real fast with these. They're not intended right. to do that. So that can cause them to jam up. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is it's a bad idea to go backwards. So if you if you feel like you're starting to get jammed up and you think, oh, I'm gonna back up a little bit, well, what happens is, is, is you've got this brass that's already stuck in here, and then once you start going backwards, what'll happen is, as you're going backwards, that brass goes back and gets stuck up under these and raises these, raises these up out of here, and then that will cause you to get uh, fouling and cause it 
to make it where it's not going to function very easily. So uh, just as long as you understand how they're supposed to be used, I think they're a great tool. Like any tool, you have to use it the right way. And the right way is we maintain moving forward and, and we don't go super, super fast. I love that they, they put them together well. I like the, the new metal version of it. They did a really nice job with that as well. Um, they've made a, a few minor upgrades on that. The one thing that I wasn't as big of a fan for, for our purposes now, for your purposes, that might be slightly different. I will tell you when we were applying this in our ranges, what happened was we would roll this down our, the wall of the range, which is to help grab that ammo that's up against the wall and deflect it back in. Well, because the range walls are not completely flat, we would be going down the wall and it would catch a little piece of concrete that was sticking out and so it would hang up a little bit. So for us, that particular feature wasn't as applicable for us, but I could see where it might be for someone else. Right. I think they did a great job in offering different sizes for different applications. Mm -hmm. I would like to try these on some different items. Um, I could see where they would be in use outside of the shooting industry. So for instance, maybe, if you owned a daycare and you had a lot of small kids toys like Legos and things of that nature, I'll bet these would be spectacular in picking mm -hmm. that type of stuff up oh, as yeah. well. So let us know what you guys think and other applications you think that this might be of use in. I would love to hear what other applications and heck we might make a follow-up video picking up some other stuff as well. I know we'll, we'll certainly give it a shot and try some Legos yeah. at some point. We gotta find some kids with Legos first. <laughs> we'll find them. Alright, so your thoughts? My thoughts, I think they're actually really great. Um, I'm gonna be right with you on everything that you said as far as, you know, once you get it down on how it works and how to use it properly, it's it's awesome. So I think they did really well at designing this stuff. Folks, be sure and check out the guys over at Ammo Up. They did a great job. They, I, I love when people come up with innovative ideas and this is certainly one of them. Please let us know how you would use it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Hey guys, Kylie and Steve here with Top Guns in Terre Haute, Indiana. Today, Steve, we're gonna be looking at a I'm gonna be a, what's this person called? Baton. Yeah. Color guard? Color guard. I'm gonna be in the color guard. Yeah, I'm gonna see you throw it up in the air and catch it. If this breaks, we can't do the review. <laughs> let's try it. Oh, let's try it again. All right. Oh! All right, so the product's durable and it doesn't break easily. All right. So I can. I can. You can be a fan. Just hit you right in the face. Sucker. Don't put that in there. <laughs>